Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making something that has been uh, suggested to me several times. I'm going to be making an ice cream using bananas. So follow along and if you like this recipe, please click the like button. Subscribe to be notified for new videos. And please share this with your friends and family. And if you like this recipe, also please feel free to donate. You can find that information out at tfvc.org forward slash donate. And without further ado, let's go ahead and find out what tools and ingredients we'll need to make this dish. The tools that you'll need to make this dish are measuring cups and measuring spoons, a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a knife, a rubber spatula, a couple of containers, and a food processor with the blade or a really good blender. The ingredients you're going to need to make this dish are, you'll need three ripe to overripe bananas. And I have cut this up and already froze them overnight. So you want to do that ahead of time. You can flavor this however you want. I'm doing like a chocolate and peanut butter swirl, but you can do strawberry, you can do vanilla, however you want to do it. So this is for my recipe, modify as needed three tablespoons of cocoa powder, a good pinch or two of salt, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter cup of chocolate chips, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and a quarter cup of milk, and this is as needed. Now I'm using chocolate milk since mine is going to be a chocolate nice cream. Now that we know what tools and ingredients that we need, let's go ahead and make this. All right, let's go ahead and make this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my frozen ripe to overripe bananas in the food processor. And again, if you have a really good blender, you can use your blender. And I'm gonna add my vanilla and my salt. I'm gonna give this a quick whirl. Next, I'm gonna add in my cocoa powder. And it looks like it's gonna need the milk, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the milk. That is looking pretty good right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the chocolate chips and I'm just gonna put these in there and then pulse it for a couple times because I do want chunks in there but I don't want the chocolate chips to be quite as big. And I probably should have bought the smaller chocolate chips but I have these on hand so I decided to use these instead. So I'll give the, this a couple of quick pulses and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the nice cream in a container and I want the peanut butter to be swirled in as opposed to just be part of the flavor. So I'm going to do that now. And again, you can flavor this however you want to. But the basic ingredients is the three bananas that's been, that's overripe, ripe to overripe, that's been chopped up and frozen overnight. Your vanilla, and then your milk if needed. And you can add strawberries, or blueberries, or some vanilla seeds, or more vanilla to it if you want just vanilla do whatever you want to it. Okay, so I have my nice cream in the container. So now I'm going to put the peanut butter on top, make sure it kind of goes over all areas. And then I'm going to just kind of fold it in there, being gentle so it doesn't over mix, just like that. And now I have ribbons of peanut butter in my chocolate and ice cream. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on this and put it in the freezer for 30 minutes. So I'll see you back here in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and serve this. Got my ice cream scoop here. Make some nice scoops. 
Look, you can see the ribbons, you can see the chocolate chips. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please consider donating. Go to tfvc.org forward slash donate to find out details. There, I've got links to my Patreon. Be sure to share this with your friends and family and like it if you liked it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Enjoy.